I've sunk an enemy destroyer. Hey, Team is Ripper here. Hope you guys are doing fantastic today. Got a fun video to talk about. Two topics, uh, my thoughts on the Wisconsin and Euro being the best review. I'll put a link in the description on this video. It's really, really awesome. You guys got to check it out. Um, but before we begin, like, subscribe, button below. Appreciate all the subscribers, support, and building a great community. Uh, next milestone is 4,000 subs, and we'll do another premium giveaway there. So in the background, just B-roll footage. This is a Missouri disclaimer. I don't have those Wisconsin yet, and I'm going to do what people have said to do is just grind it out. I mean, I'm an average player. Well, majority of the people here are just looking to play this game and grind things out. I'll do that, and uh, we'll show you my experiences later on, and we'll do an actual review of Wisconsin. But why do that when Euro... And other YouTubers out there like Flambass, Potato Quality, Flamu. I mean, a lot of people do great reviews, and I, I like watching them. I enjoy them, and I really encourage you guys to watch that as well. But here, here's my take on um, one of the best reviews I've watched is Euro. And I'll put some screenshots up from that video. And again, link in the description below to his uh, video, and he's awesome at doing it. But let's talk about the, the reason why. I, I think some people thought I had a negative uh, thought about Wisconsin and really um, – it wasn't that I was uh, a negative about it. It's just – it doesn't fit in the world today of World of Worships the way with the introduction of submarines. Um, and part of me being that problem is being a DD um, main that is a gunboat guy. And I like burning down everything and just shooting SAP and shooting uh, HE. And then CVs as well, you know, carrier-based uh, airplanes are just bombing the crap out of everything. So um, I'll talk about it. I'll put some screenshots up and tell you why I like the review. And actually, he actually nails a couple of points that I'm trying to make. And maybe it was just misconstrued, but he, he made all the great points for me. And he even included a snapshot of one of my videos uh, in his video. So kudos. And I appreciate that as well. Euro, you did a great job and just supporting me. I think a lot of people thought it was a hit at potato quality, but probably a hit at me. I don't know. But it, it did really good make... Um, a good, I would say, publicity for me, but also great to carry my point out, and he does it very well. So let's get to it. So let me put up the first screenshot here, and uh, and the first point he makes is the, this is the most accurate four six millimeters battleship in the game so far, um, even with RNG. Yeah, and I agree because what other American four six millimeter guns are out there, like Iowa, Missouri, uh, Montana? Those have those four six millimeter traditional guns, and. And in the background footage, you can see Missouri as well. I mean, this is me playing around with Missouri for B-roll footage. But, yeah, I mean, honestly, the way I've been shooting, if you watch just me playing the Missouri, uh, the accuracy is there sometimes. Uh, you can hit things, but you got to be a little bit in close. At long range, pretty wonky. Dispersions, uh, you know, like a questionable. That's why... Uh, I don't really like playing Missouri or Iowa in that sense. And, and again, I love the Iowa, Missouri, real. I've been on the Missouri. Awesome, awesome real-life battleships. They're museums. Someone plugged in the Wisconsin Museum in Norfolk, Virginia. Great. Um, and that's why I appreciate it a lot. But in the game, it's really difficult to hit anything for me, that is, personally, uh, at long range for Missouri, Iowa. I think they're more a little bit up close uh, for the accuracy to be in there. But again, when you get in up close, you're in kind of that secondary wannabe range, and you don't have secondaries. The Missouri, the Iowa, and, and Wisconsin are not built for secondaries, and I'll show this slide right here. As uh, Euro says, this is not a uh, <laughs> it's not a German battleship. It is not secondary. It's not Ohio style uh, secondary. So do not play for that. Do not meme yourself. So um, that that's exactly why. And and I'm it's sad to say I wish, uh, like I said, the best battleship the American line that I like uh, so much is the Ohio. It's one of the best battleships. A lot of people apl applaud it. And for the bang for your buck, it has the Ohio secondaries. 11.3, great dispersion, great accuracy, and why not? Why can't all American battleships have those secondaries? What's the difference? Why do the guns change all of a sudden just because your name changes? It doesn't make sense to me. Make the game fun. Make it everybody has secondaries. Make them all the same. Make them accurate. Make them consistent. And you'll see different gameplay styles, in my personal opinion. Uh, but... Like I said, Missouri, Iowa, Wisconsin are not built for that. Ohio, maybe I've tried a Montana secondary build. It doesn't work as well either, but at least you can do something with Montana. You got 12 of the guns to make up for the dispersion. More shells out means more hits potentially. Uh, but like I said, you don't see many Missouri, Iowa players out there. In the last 100 games that I've played, um, I haven't really seen many uh, Missouri, Iowa's, Wisconsin's uh, as much. Um, Wisconsin maybe just because it was released, but you really don't see much of them around. You see more of the other, you know, battleships, secondary focused and uh, maybe more gimmicky, like Burgones with the reload boosters, and I think that's what Wisconsin's trying to do is with the reload booster, and I'll put a couple of slides about that. So what is this gimmick and uh, that you're talking about here? Um, this is basically the immediate system reloads, the F key. It's, you know, kind of like the San Martin. The more hits you get, you hit this button when the you know, filter fills up, or sorry, the, the meter fills up, and then you hit the F key, and boom, you get this. 
And again, these uh, come from Euro's video. The, he did a great job, boy. I have to applaud him. But I mean, 50% main gun reload gun reduction and 80% consumable reload time it, for all those other consumables like heals, uh, defensive fire, you know, or spotter plane, whatever. Um, they get a reduction in heal, just like San Martin, the reduction in cooldown time. So that that's the biggest thing about the gimmick right there is, hey, I get a reluctant reduction in time of reload shooting. And then also my consumables, which is good because... You get a reduction from one minute of cooldown for your damage con heals to down to maybe less than 20 seconds, which is awesome because in the world of burning, torpedoing, CV spotting, and torping, and dive bombing, and everything, and HE spamming, you, you battleships just cannot make it and cut it today. And I'll get to that second part of this video is about why is there so many blowout games. And, and that's the reason why is because, and we'll talk about it, because the, you're just getting burned down and, and HE spam to death. And most battleships won't push up. There you go. So wh what makes the Wisconsin great for that reason is it gets to mitigate that, that burning and reduction to encourage maybe pushing in to be a little bit more tankier than possible. So I think that's why they introduced it. So, I mean, think about it. Less concerns about fire flooding, no penalties, given the ship. I mean, it doesn't sacrifice anything just to get, um, you know, a cooldown to your ability to heal and to stop damage. And, I mean, my goodness, that, that tells you there's a problem there because now you're saying the problem for battleships is they have, they're burning down all the time or they're flooding all the time. And you need to bring in a gimmick to actually stop that. So, again, I think that is what encourages that kind of gameplay style. But because they have to introduce it as a gimmick, to get, encourage you to brawl, they know that's the problem. Well, then then you need to solve the problem of this fire damage control whole system. But again, that, again, that, we're going back to Wisconsin, and he does a great re review about it, talking about uh, th this is basically what the Wisconsin is becoming. It's because it has the great accuracy of the guns, the great heels and everything and so forth, and that is its power. Um, and then I'll, uh, the why I think that is just, yeah, it's cool. Uh, I just don't think it's enough to actually changing the dynamic of how the game is played nowadays now it may work in maybe competitive or something I, I i don't play battleships in competitive but i would have to say and leave me leave the comments about your thoughts on this i mean how do you think the wisconsin should be played or is it a, an improvement in the game or is this good enough and the reason why i had an issue with it is because yeah you know i'm an american we live in america um, i'm very i'm in the military currently serving i still like um i visited the, the battleship uh, missouri i i visit a lot of battleships um as a tour, as a guide, it's pretty awesome. You guys have to check it out as well. It's awesome to see the history, um, especially Missouri. But like I said, it's I don't think it's enough to if you're gonna you know I I introduce something and yeah, the gimmicks are I have to have better cooldown of heals and whatever. The guns are accurate. I mean, yeah, I mean, cool. But I mean, look, I just shot a Missouri in the Hanover. The guns are accurate. They're they're good enough at close range. But like I said, you got to go get it within a certain distance and you have to do a certain play style. And look, look what I have to do. I have to run away and do a tactical egress like uh, Euro talks. So I like how he mentions that. Yeah, it's, I mean, it is bad angling away. If you t look at some of the aspects of it, the guns are pretty uh, horrendous uh, when you are angling. You can see in the background footage with the um, here right here. Uh, yeah, Missouri, uh, terrible gun angles. And here's another picture of it. And uh, yeah, there, this this picture says it all. I mean, it, you just got to give a lot of broad, broadside, a little bit more angling, a little more superstructure hits, and you're just taking damage like crazy. That that's kind of the pictures you're looking at. So, like I said, I mean, yeah, okay. So what do we what do we talk about here? The Wisconsin's got the better accuracy Sigma, uh, 2.0 uh, Sigma, and a little bit better dispersion. And, uh, and he brings up a lot of good points. So the, the reason why the, the Wisconsin needs these gimmicks is because it needs it. I mean, uh, without it, it's just like I said, another Missouri, another Iowa, whatever. And, and I'll put some things up uh, that he brings up is like, for example, you know, turning circle, eh, whatever. Worse than Montana, you know, in, in the sense of maybe gun angles, not guns. Uh, it's just, like I said, I'd rather choose Montana over everything else. Me personally, let me, let me know your thoughts. Um, it just plays a little bit better for me uh, for an American style. That's why Montana's awesome. Yeah, 38 millimeter deck doesn't cut it nowadays, especially with all the HE spamming and bomb dive bombers and uh, whatever. I mean, everybody's shooting everything. I just it, really, you're not that tanky. I don't feel like you're tanky, honestly, in the American battleship line. And here's a great slide to sum it all up accurate guns, the combat instructions really help out to mitigate that. But again, tier 10, you need a little bit more power to be 
in my personal opinion, more competitive. Uh, and, and it's like I said, it's sad to say that, you know, the American Battleship line has to kind of be that way. And, and look at this cab in the background. Okay, here's the accuracy of the guns right here. So I fired, I just double click, and you get a full salvo right there, single salvo, and boom. So look, look, the guns are decent. They can hit things at certain ranges, but again, you just got to rely on that RNG. But look where I'm at. I mean, in order to play like this, I have to run away from every big tactical egress. And I'm really just trying to figure out, you know, hey, what am I supposed to shoot? What am I supposed to do here? Gun reload, eh, not the greatest. Uh, I got nine guns and so forth. So what are my thoughts, um, you know, going forward on uh, on this game? I mean, it's it's built for pure enjoyment. I mean, here's the biggest thing is zero spotting nowadays uh, and, and why, and I'll talk about it at the second part of this video of why we play the way we play. Um, it's just it's changed because of the gimmicks and everything they've added to the game to make it maybe draw a better crowd i mean here's the issue right here another thing is the big three you know and i'm part of that that destroyer player is like a similar shimikaze torpedo boat gunboat you got cvs and submarines and that's going to lead to problems that yeah you introduced to wisconsin which i'm going to get anyways why because we're we're patriotic we i'm american i like the ship i've been on the ship and you're or you're going to get it and here's what the montana i was telling you about why montana was better and there are the reasons why and even Ohio is even good, too. I would rather play these ships. And that's why I thought Wisconsin would be, like I said, a long-awaited ship to be released. And you would think, it, man, well, why can't you make it just as powerful as Montana or maybe in Ohio? And that's why I was kind of concerned about it. Or not concerned, but just questioning it. But, uh, yeah, cool. That, and even Euro says that you have to have those gimmicks to make up for whatever. Because if you took away the F key... What is it really? It's again, it's just another Ohio, or I'm mean, sorry, an Iowa or Missouri. And I know they're coming out with New Jersey eventually, so that would be an interesting thing to look up for. But again, like I said, it's my my overall thoughts on Wisconsin. It's a, I think it's an event that, uh, like I said, should be a little bit better. Um, and now, now I'm gr I'm grateful that you can make a grind out uh, and make it a ship that's worth uh, getting because it's not not too too expensive. But, man, I wish they would just make the, the battleships a little bit more consistent, like a Montana or Ohio. That's my thought. It's tier 10, man. you got to make it stronger. And uh, But we're getting pretty much like an Iowa, Missouri, in my personal opinion, just with better accuracy. So this kind of leads to my point is why doesn't the Missouri – or, sorry, Wisconsin, maybe Missouri and Iowa, why doesn't it normally work in today's meta? And I'll show you why. Because why this leads to the discussion of why there's so many blowout matches. And, and I'll show you some of the videos right here. All right, so this is a tier 10 match. Um, it's got, you know, basic battleship, basic lineup, and we're going to take a look at it, review. So take keep your eye up on the top left-hand corner, the Ohio and Giuseppe, and look what they're already doing maneuvering. And now, why are they doing that? Why isn't Ohio hitting an island and going in reverse at the beginning of a match? Because why? You have a threat of it. Look at where I'm at. I have a submarine with me, and I admit it. I have a submarine, but I don't like submarines in the first place. But look, you have just the threat of submarines in the area. That Look what the back row is doing. They're all in full retreat. Look at Yoshino, Giuseppe, Ohio. Nobody's supporting me at Charlie here. I'm the de destroyer and with a submarine. And then there's a submarine there with me. In the middle, you have Lucian. That's all. That's normal. But look at look at on the, the east side. Vermont in retreat. Schlieff in retreat. Janan behind islands. I mean, and look, at least enemy team, they understand that, hey, the back row is going to the back row. Why not push? Because what else is there to do? You know, we're all going to sit in the back row at the, uh, the A, B line, whatever, and just... Hopefully, you know, pray that this game is over. I don't know. That This is exactly why I think there's a problem. Imagine if there was a CV in this game. Now, there's not even a CV in the game right now. And and look again, look where where's my support. They're in the back uh, waiting. The submarine is holding out an entire area. I can't rush the submarine because I'm for fear of being one, being spotted, maybe being torped unless I get within 2.9 kilometers or lower. Ragnar's pushing. Oh, look, he just pushed everybody in the back row. And then Azumo. And look, I got Vermont in the back. Schlieffen's out there. Janan tried to cap and tried to be a destroyer player, but unfortunately, you can't do that. And pretty much the game is over at this point. And this is how majority of matches are. So what would a Wisconsin or maybe even just a gener generic American battleship do in this instance? Uh, I mean, we had on Ohio. Ohio, you, you saw, is one of the most powerful battleships that I think is in the game. And like you saw there, it really couldn't you know, be an impactful part of the game or whatever. And it's all based on the player, like I said. So introducing another battleship in this game with so-called uh just better dispersion yay the dispersion's only good if you can um, employ it correctly right and again that just depends on the player base of the game and how you employ, do anything with the game but right now what is the biggest problem though is you saw it was carriers you have submarines and you have dd gunboat mains that are just he spamming like me uh 
and, and you could see, look, look, for example, this background footage right here, what would Wisconsin or uh, Iowa, Missouri, something with better dispersion and accuracy in the F key, how would that impact the game in any way when you have this? When you have all your teammates are in the back, uh, there is potentially, uh, you have the carrier that's spotting, out spotting everything. So what's the Wisconsin, let's say, I'm, again, I'm not picking on the Wisconsin, I'm just using it as an example for this particular video. It's like, okay, so Wisconsin's got great dispersion, F key and so forth, cool, it can go in and tank and you know mitigate the damage and damage con. Okay, now what? My Rhode Islands, the, the enemy Rhode Islands in the back. Now, if I was on the red team, this would be bad. All my, all my buddies are in full retreat right here. Uh, at carriers outspot and everything, what could possibly have been done to solve, you know, that that the situation where you got these blowout matches? So I'm going back to this last match. Um, you saw just the replay. I'm playing at a slower speed. So here is the layout of what you see right here: Ohio on the back, Giuseppe in reverse, Yoshino on the back, GK obviously in the back, Vermont. Who's supporting the destroyer and using their ASW to help me against the submarine? Or what are they doing in the middle there? They're obviously, two destroyers clumped together, obviously. But then we have, what support do they have at Charlie? And, and you can see where the problem in, in this, a lot of this, these matches that I'm seeing. And you probably, you guys have probably seen it as well. Let me know in the comments below what you're seeing. Um, but what you're, you're, you're basically in the, the problem of the game is now the submarine is the best tactical response to destroyers and even battleships now you have the cv that can go out and spot and there's no room for sneak attacks or anything unless you do come some kind of crawling smoke screen that just shields everybody and this could be a problem about this is how the game stagnates and becomes stale and going back again to the video of well is the wisconsin adding in the game is it gonna is the gimmick gonna make it strong enough to be a, a worthy opponent in the game or uh, an, an asset and like i said it, it's just another a ship that Wargaming releases to make money off of, and I get it, it's a business, but is it really enough, like I said, to make a, you know, a Battleship player want to even play the game anymore, or just get frustrated? And like I said, having the F key, yeah, it's cool. You can charge in, and you can have the F key, and, you know, damage con your fires faster, shoot a little faster, and so forth, but then what happens after that? Do you, and it, because it only, there is only so much time in, the, in that, that consumable to last, and now you have a HE spamming DD. You have the submarine that's going to torp you underwater, and there's no way you can fight against about it other than guess where to drop an ASW. Is that what the game has become, dropping ASW? And the only solution I see is that you got to encourage players to push in more. Well, giving the F key, I don't know only the Wisconsin has it, but having that, I don't see many Wisconsin players pushing in. Uh, give it to Missouri, Iowa, but I don't see many people picking those ships either. Uh, I, I why why not just make them like Ohio's? You know, Ohio, give everybody the same secondaries as Ohio, and then you may see a difference. Because if you're going to give submarines and CVs this op this option to you know, shoot from a distance and be uh, unabated. I mean, that's the whole nature of warfare, right? Make it, make technology better so that you're more at a standoff range and you, you don't take damage and you're not sacrificing yourself. That's the whole nature of warfare. Then this game is going to slowly be just stagnant and die. And, and I don't want to see that. I want to see people come up with tactics and techniques to go in and, and, and overcome these things. So what would my, like, look at this map right here. What would my solution be? Well, look what I'm doing. I'm going in and trying to cap and try to engage but everybody else is slowly saying, hey, finally the destroyer is pushing up and let's start getting in the match. But it's a little too late for that now. And would having an F key change the, anything in, real, in, in reality for this match? I don't honestly think so. And just having a better Sigma, cool, better Sigma. But it still doesn't solve the inherent problem of you got all these counter things to ba battleship players that it just doesn't make it fun anymore. And I actually enjoy, when I first started playing this game, I enjoyed playing the battleship. I, I, I enjoy playing that kind of cruiser-style gameplay where you can go in and start shooting, having fun. Short of just making the map smaller to force people to go in to actually do something, maybe that might be the solution. And I'm, I'm all about solutions. I'm not here to try to complain about everything. I'm trying to make, well, what can we do to solve this? And... I don't know. Maybe the player base just doesn't know. The player base is brand new to the game. A lot of the veteran players have left, so they can't teach the new players, hey, you need to push in. You need to support this. You need to support your destroyer. You need to cap. You need to spot. I think, honestly, it's just the nature of the game right now is, you know, you got to sit in the back and avoid being spammed to death or maybe make the there's some kind of respawn or healing ability, whatever. And I think Wargaming is addressing that. It's, the fact that it's giving an F key to um, a battleship to say, hey, you can damage con real quick and reduce that burn time. Well, then get, let everybody do that. Then if you're saying that's a problem and the only way to solve it is by giving a gimmick to one ship uh, or maybe one or two and a few here and you got to, you know, so-called, you know, 
grind it out or invest a little bit of energy and time and money into it, we'll then try to make it a little, a little bit more balanced and consistent throughout or just change the nature of the game because you're telling me right off the bat that F key has to happen in order for you to survive and push or support anybody. And you can see that right now on the map. Mecklenburg in the back there the, on the, the enemy team. He's got to play a little distance. Uh, Janan's acting like a destroyer right there. Lucian, what more can he do? He's getting rushed by Nazumo, radar by Moskva. And eventually I have support here but in, in the western side of A, but... Look, Yoshino, reverse, Ohio's the edge of the map, Vermont. Look at Vermont, way to the north right there. Not very impactful at this point. Schlieffen, the full secondary ship. The reason the Schlieffen was introduced is to be that brawling secondary ship, and look what it's doing. It's kind of just, hey, I'm not going to push. I'm going to get stuck in reverse in this island here, hugging it, and... Wow, is this the nature of World of Warships nowadays? So again, uh, I, I want to leave you guys with that. It's it's food for thought. It's I want to hear uh, great talk, great solutions, and obviously we're all being respectful of each other and everything like that, and we're having a blast. We're learning some fr from it and being a great community. But as you can see right here, I mean, this is um, the nature of the game. I, I mean, I love Missouri, love Wisconsin, love all the BB, the Iowa-class battleships. And like I said, uh, uh, Euro said, I'm still going to grind it out because we're patriotic. We love the ships, and we're going to get it anyways. We'll grind it out. We'll do what we can without have, having to invest heavily in the money or anything like that. But uh, we're still going to get them. We're still going to enjoy them, to look at them. And I, I wish it was just something more than just cool-looking ships sailing through the thing. Well, wow, let, let's make it more uh, enjoyable of the game so that we can be an impactful part of that player. And that's why I like playing DDs, because I feel like I'm more impactful. As you can see, the Ragnar here is the impactful person of the game right here and actually making uh, a key move. And he's actually risking his ship to go and engage, and that shouldn't be the case. He just blew up uh, you know, a cruiser right there. He's being an impactful part of the game, and that's what I, I think they need to encourage more of that gameplay. But look at this. We got the battleships in the back running away, and that's the that's the way we get in these games right now. But anyways, let me know your thoughts. Um, uh, you know, you know, are you, you going to get Wisconsin? Do you think it's good enough? Do you think it could be better? Uh, how are the games nowadays? How are these uh, matches being blown out? How, what have you seen? What could you do, do better? And as always, I encourage that discussion and gameplay, and we're having a blast. As always, like, subscribe, bubble, and love. Appreciate the support of the channel. Um, I like bringing up these controversial topics. They're really fun to talk about. And, um, yeah, I, I love hearing the comments. love reading about them. And uh, as always, you guys, thanks so much. Be safe. Make sure you say hi out there. And as always, uh, we'll take care. Cheers.